Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 18th, 2019. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. What a wild Friday we had with such bullishness all day long. The bulls just were relentlessly pushing higher. And at the end of the day, in a last minute surge, let's go to the DJI here, Dow 30. If we take a look in that last Last minute surge on a 15 minute chart it required that last minute surge to break us through that 28,000 level and it was just right at the end of the day when we made that happen now it's interesting that the Dow didn't get quite as much love and you can see we were just short of that 28 or 280 level, uh, the full 10% of the Dow. So kind of interesting there that it lagged just slightly behind. But bullishness, bullishness, bullishness everywhere. Now this morning, we're getting more bullishness. We're getting more of a push up this morning. It's kind of interesting. Um, we have just some warm and fuzzy feelings about um, trade negotiations in the phase one deal, apparently giving us that lift this morning. So that follow through looking to gap up and currently Dow futures are up 92 points and continuing to get stronger as the day goes on. Now it's interesting to note that um, we had green across the board in Asia markets last night. They were all positive despite um, the protests in um, Hong Kong that seemed to be growing more and more violent. But um, they were green all the way across the board last night. But European markets are taking um, a much more cautious approach this morning and are flat and even mostly lower this morning. And we're just kind of uh, in this raging bull right now. We're just ramping, ramping, ramping to the upside. There doesn't seem to be anything holding us back um, at all. So kind of an interesting setup this morning. But let's take a look at the technicals in the chart. If we were to take a peek here at our standard moving averages, you can see we are certainly trending to the upside nothing stopping that trend at least at this point and if we take a look through the charts we have lots of support levels in here to deal with um, on the chart so as of right now the bulls just want to push higher and um, they are in firm control of the market looking to gap up this morning let's take a look at the spy spy very much the same thing multiple levels of support in here and the price action of that chart this breakaway gap and run does give me a little tiny bit of concern. Um, we broke through, we broke through a level in the, um, oops, in the S and P 500. We broke through that 3,100, and you can see we broke through that all at once and a gap and go to the upside. Now this morning, we're getting more bullishness this morning. So one of the things that I always am concerned about is once we make those big round numbers and break through those big round numbers, it's not uncommon we come back to test them as support. So right now we're pushing even higher this morning, gapping up this morning, just absolutely bullish. But I wonder if we could happen to run into the possibility of a pop and drop where we might just have reach a, a point of exhaustion here in the bulls. Now I don't know that that's the, going to be the case and I'm certainly not trying to predict that but I'm bringing that up as a caution to be very careful about chasing this morning open as we push push um, relentlessly higher here eventually we will tire out everyone that's going to buy will buy and we could start pulling back to test some of those big round number areas as support. So just consider that, be careful in the chase. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues very, very strong this morning. As you can see, we broke through these resistance levels. There's just no holding this market back right now. Again, breaking through some um, important places here, breaking above, um, here, let me get, Tools working for me again. Breaking through up here with a gap and go, showing all kinds of strength 
um, in the market overall. And we'll want to watch and stay pretty focused on that as um, we push on higher here this morning. But bulls are firmly in control. Doesn't seem to be any reason um, whatsoever um, in the price action to have concern here but we do want to watch that potential gap up. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is, well, it's just underloved. Um, certainly, it is rallied nicely here recently, breaking through this longer term downtrend, holding some levels of support. But I think it's interesting that while the rest of the indexes were making new record highs, IWM was just kind of languishing here underneath a little bit of level of resistance, struggling along. I'm completely underloved right now. So IWM lagging way behind. It'd be nice if that kind of helps, gets moving here and helps uh, the rest of the indexes, but not seeing so much love here in that index right now. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX. Now the VIX on Friday with all of that wonderful bullishness coming in actually dropped down here. We're very, very close, very close to dropping into the 11 area, 11 region of the VIX. No fear in this market whatsoever. But I do want to point out this level of price support in here. We're rapidly approaching that. We can drop below, as you can see, we can drop below here. And there was a period back in here in just absolute complete bullishness of the market where we dropped down into these 11, 10, and even nine regions here in the VIX. So watch that closely. It seems to me like we may be getting just a little bit on the side of complacency and we'll wanna watch that pretty carefully. So keep an eye on the VIX if that fear does start to come in. Let's take a look at T21. 22. Now T2122 has some more upside showing. So we could move T2122 all the way back up here. So we have more upside potential here in the market. We're definitely getting that this morning with the Dow gapping about a, a 90 points higher. So moving on up certainly looks possible. What we'll want to start watching though is if we start reaching up into this area right here, we may have reached an overbought condition in the short term. So this gap up open, leaving those, uh, those open windows behind gives me a little bit of a pause. And I wanna be careful about chasing um, into that this morning as we start reaching up here to these uh, levels. So watch that closely as we extend this market out. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot to worry about here this morning, but we do have a few things later this week to we wanna consider. Housing market index here at 10. We've got a Fed speaker and we've got Treasury International after market close. I don't expect much of any anything in here to move us around much at all. Um, one thing we do want to make note of is we do have FOMC minutes coming up this week. Market tends to just get a little bit light and choppy as we wait for um, minutes to come out but that may not occur this time around. We're just um, unbelievably bullish and we'll, we'll just have to kind of keep that in mind as, as we progress through the week. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. We don't have, um, we're starting to wind down earnings. We have a big week uh, this week of retail earnings. We're going to hear from Home Depot and Urban Outfitters and TJ Maxx and a lot of retail this week. So we'll want to focus on that retail sector just a little bit. Today, really not much of anything to really give the market a whole lot of inspiration. So kind of keep that in mind. But we will kick off tomorrow with Home Depot and that will kind of um, uh, kick off that retail week um, with the Home Depot report first thing tomorrow. So watch that um, carefully. Let's take a look at um, some charts that could be setting up. But before we do that, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, and if you find these videos to be helpful, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube, and then also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, um, 
I try to produce these videos every single day without a bias in the market, without hype, without prediction. Just looking at the technicals of the chart. And if you find that information helpful, you know, please leave that brief comment. It helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks and we continue to grow. And I would, I just want to say thank you. You know, some of the comments over the weekend were, um, uh, so humbling. I truly, truly appreciate that guys. You, you cannot even know how much that means to me. I, thank you very much. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. Now, I want to remind everyone that every time I show a video or sh excuse me, show a stock in one of these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell in any security whatsoever. It's a it's it's a chart um, as part of the training and put in a watch list, focus on um, it may become a trade for you, but that's going to require your own evaluation. So keep that in mind as I show stocks in this video. The one thing I will say today is there are more potential bullish stocks out there in bullish trends, bullish signals than anyone could possibly buy. So even though I'm going to show you a few, just know that there are a lot out there to maybe choose from. And when you have a market in such a runaway bullish fa fashion, um, you know, everywhere you look, there could be another potential opportunity. Let's take a look at AXP. Now, AXP is a chart I've been paying attention to and watching, and you can see AXP has moved up uh, pretty nicely here. We've broken this downtrend. We're running a nice little trend, just kind of stair-stepping our way up. As this moves over closer to its trend, watch for that opportunity for AXP to, kind of, to begin to move higher and showing lots of strength here overall. Um, now, one thing we do need to see is we need to see this uh, little consolidation just kind of break to that upside. So watch that close. You can see I have a price alert on the chart. I'm actually going to go to this chart, um, which I where I make most of my trade decisions and you can see this nice little price pattern and actually cleaning up the chart like that you can almost see that inverted head and shoulders pattern really developing here uh, break of the neckline and starting to show bullishness so keep that one in mind put that one on your list possibly another one to pay attention to is Netflix now Netflix has had quite a lot of challenges uh, this year and um, we had a, a dip, um, pretty solid dip here in the chart when we were um, getting the news that uh, of the big gains of the Disney streaming service. And you can see right here, Netflix is challenged by this resistance level in the chart, but I'm watching it pretty closely. Notice this wedge pattern that's forming in here. This may need to consolidate a bit more. I can see that it's trying to pop a little bit higher this morning, trying to break out. So you might want to keep an eye on this. If this pops above, holds and then moves on. Netflix may try to recover some of these um, uh, losses that it's seen um, over the last few months. Take a look at DOCU. DOCU, interesting chart in the sense that we're dealing with a price resistance level up here. You can see we're challenged by this, but we're rising in this nice little running, rising trend. Higher lows and just struggling with that resistance high. Kind of keep an eye on this. It's it's certainly possible this just continues to move sideways in here. But I would, with the bullishness in the market, I want to favor that upside move, potentially popping out of that area. Now, if you guys remember last week, um, I, I talked about Honeywell and um, suggested on Friday that Honeywell dipping down was a little bit of a concern, but to watch it close, it may come right back. That's exactly what happened. And we're just holding this trend nicely in Honeywell. And you can see we're consolidating over toward 
um, this trend. So I want to be watching that for that potential break through that resistance area. Keep an eye on Honeywell. You also heard me talk about Altria last week. Altria, I said keep an eye on that. Altria finally made its move on Friday. A lot of folks in RWO made some money on this, popping up and breaking through. Now this morning, it looks like it may open just a tiny bit higher, but maybe right about the same place. Don't be surprised if this needs to rest or pull back a little bit. That's a pretty big move for uh, for Altria right here, but watch that close, uh, Mo trying to move up and a good looking chart. Um, UNH, UNH, holy moly. UNH, you can see I had a price alert here on this chart and we popped through, pulled back and I brought this up as a potential. A lot of folks in RWO picked this up and um, even though there was a news report um, and I think it responded to that, news report that the president signed an, ex an executive order um, um, involving um, healthcare companies and boy UNH just took off like a rocket from there. I wouldn't want to chase this, but here's what's important about this chart, I think, at this point. You can see we come up here and we tried to break through that resistance level and ended up at the end of the day pulling back to um, close just below that level. We're, we're going to want to watch this in here. It's certainly possible that this could get some kind of a rest or pullback in here, but if this happens to more consolidate across here, I would want to watch that for that potential of that next break higher. Don't be surprised if it pulls back, but it's one for the list to keep an eye on as that continues to develop. How about AMD? AMD, you guys heard me talk about this one over and over and over. AMD has made its run. Now I think the possibility of a rest or pullback is in play. You can see it's going to gap just a little bit higher this morning, but we may be running into a little bit of a resistance high here in this chart. Heart. So just a little tired maybe, a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback, and then let's keep an eye on this and see if that can rest into this trend and give us another opportunity to move higher. And if I go to a weekly chart, I just want you to, oops, weekly chart, I want you to notice that we could be reaching out for these all-time highs here in the chart. That's why that line is up there looking at that opportunity. So it is entirely possible that even though we are showing a little bit of stress here at this height, that we could push on through. I still think there's a, a chance of a little rest or pullback, which gives us an opportunity. If this were to rest, pull back, consolidate in here, and then give us that opportunity to catch a trade to move on up to test those all-time highs, that's something that I want to be watching for in the chart. Take a look at Costco. Costco continuing to look pretty good here. Now, Costco, kind of an interesting pattern. It's, it's not giving us a whole lot of confidence overall, but you can see we do have this rising trend in here and we're dealing with price resistance right through here. We're trying to poke through there. Now, as long as I continue to hold this trend and continue to bounce around and bang, have it, having it bang its head against here, anything that holds in this area in here, I want to be watching for that opportunity that that next move um, pops that through and possible breakout to the upside. So kind of keep that one on your list. Might be something to watch overall. Take a look at Valero. Now Valero Energy, um, this refiner is looking really, really strong. And if I pull this back, chart back, and place a couple of lines on here, you can see we have some resistance coming in this chart, something that we want to think about and watch. But we have also broken through substantially a major level of resistance. And we've held this level right here as support. So we popped through, held this high right in here, held it as support. So as long as that continues to consolidate sideways through here, I want to keep a close eye on this for that opportunity of this popping on through and running back, running up to this resistance level in the chart. Certainly would be enough upside move in there for me with options. May not be the best of a stock trade, but something to pay attention to. 
take a look at Momo. Momo is one of those um, stocks that have um, a, a lot of weight being uh, placed on this around the positiveness or bearishness of the phase one trade deal. And as you can see, what, what we've got here in a pattern is we've got these rising lows. We broke through this resistance level. And interestingly enough, we held it directly as support. So watch this right in here, little morning star pattern. Momo starting to look pretty good. I wouldn't be too surprised if this has to consolidate a little bit more, but watch that carefully because if that can move on through and move on up, there should be plenty of opportunity here to get some uh, nice profit in there. I would probably prefer a little relaxation, a little consolidation in here to find my entry into this trade to get a little lower risk entry on it, but that may not be the case with the bullishness of the market this morning you can see Momo trying to gap higher this morning so watch that pretty closely so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading please remember to click that subscribe button on YouTube and leave that brief comment I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that clicking those thumbs up buttons you guys are the, you guys are the best truly awesome take care of yourselves we'll see you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.